Hello YouTube, I'm a student from Beehive Science and Technology Academy and today I'm going to show you how to make a dry ice smoke ring launcher from a cup. And just to show you, it does make rings. Let's get started. First thing you need is water. Next, plastic bag. some rubber bands and a cup with a hole in the bottom like this and some dry ice so first what you want to do is take your plastic bag and put it on top of the plastic cup like so then to hold it in place you want to put rubber bands over the top. I'll skip forward so you don't have to watch me put the rubber bands on. Okay, I finished putting the rubber bands on it. Okay, so now what you want to do is take a pair of scissors and you want to cut this part off. You want to cut this off because if you leave it on, it's so thick that it creates an airway between the plastic bag and the plastic cup and the rubber bands don't work and so the water will come out. And then this part is optional. You can cut around the edges to make it nice. It's a little bit better. So that part's done. Next you want to grab your water and pour a little bit into the cup not too much okay that should be enough I probably put a half a cup in there I, I filled it to one and a half cups and you should be able to tip it all the way over and the water shouldn't come out mine's dripping because I cut it a little too low anyway so now you're gonna want to take your dry ice and put it in the bottle but I don't have a big enough hole to fit this huge thing in. So, ouch. So now I'm just going to crunch it up. So I have my pieces. I'm just going to stick them in there. I'll need a little bit more. You should hear some bubbling and then after a few seconds it should start looking like this. Then you just tip it over to the side and pat the plastic bag on the back. It should make rings. You might be asking how this happens. Well if you think about it this way, if you take a hot stick that you just got out of a fire and the end is charcoal and you put it in water, then it steams up. Well that's what happens with dry ice. The temperature difference between the water and the dry ice is so great because dry ice is negative 78.5 degrees Celsius. And water, if it gets that cold, obviously it will freeze. But the temperature difference between them is so great that they com the temperatures go together and they create a vapor out of the, that comes out of the top of the cup. So, that's my science experiment. Thank you for watching. Like the video. Uh, if you want to visit my school website, link's in the description. And have a good day.